Hi, we move on to the next chapter today. In chapter 2, subtopic uh, 2.5, cases exchange in plants. Okay, as we all know, uh, plants make their own food through the through photosynthesis process during the daylight and also respirate during the light. But while uh, in the night, at night, uh, the plant will respirate without doing any photosynthesis process. Okay, so the diagram show you the the process of photosynthesis that uh, the blue one, okay, from carbon dioxide. To produce uh, their food and also produce oxygen by respiration in plants will use oxygen and will produce carbon dioxide during night only respiration occurs in plants uh, using oxygen and produce carbon dioxide without any photosynthesis process Okay, let's see the, the structure of the uh, leaf. So we have a epidemic, a cuticle, okay, the outer layer, and, the, and then followed by the epidemis. And then we have a mesophyll pellicide layer, and then we have mesophyll spongy layers. Okay. okay, the process of the transpiration okay, happen and also gas exchange happen in the, in the, in the day. Okay, this is an actual uh, diagram or picture of stomata and gut, the gut cell. Okay, during uh, the gut cell, uh, we see the uh, function was so the gut cell will control the size of the stoma or gases exchange okay the structure uh, in the middle is called stoma and this one every uh, gut cell have a nucleus and also have chloroplast vacuum gut cell and also cell wall okay let's see the gut cell is the structure of epidermal cell that are bean shaped surrounded by the surrounded stoma and also contain chloroplast. This gut cell, the function of the gut cell is to control the size of the stomata and also carry out photosynthesis. Okay, the stoma is the tiny opening of the lower epidermis surrounded by the gut cell. So for the leaf, so we have the lower epidemis and the function for stoma is allow gases exchange through diffusion of carbon dioxide and oxygen between air space in the spongy mesophyll cell and the surrounding atmosphere. Okay, the effect of osmosis on stoma so here we have a, what we call the diagram to show you the the, the effect osmosis on stoma. So the osmosis process is a, when the process of water molecule diffused from the region of low concentration of solution to a region of high concentration of solution through semi permeable membrane. So so the moving uh, molecule, the blue one, water molecule, will move from the uh, dilute solution to the concentrated sugar solution. So in the end, the process of, uh, of osmosis will transfer the water molecule and become uh, higher compared to the earlier. Okay, the same one, 
so the picture the diagram will show you the gut cell and also stomach okay so when uh, what will happen uh, for the gut cell swollen and shrunken so the stoma will open during the day to carry out photosynthesis process and during night so the stoma will close because of the gut cell become flaccid and there is no photosynthesis process during night okay so what is the effect of acidic gas to the plant to the plant so the sun energy have photochemical reaction uh, and this one this uh, photochemical reaction that consists in the sun energy will help uh, plants create their own food during the uh, photosynthesis process but for acid rain consists of the oxidation of sulfur dioxide okay, plus uh, oxygen and also water molecule because we create the sulfuric acid and also uh, nitric acid okay this uh, acid will form the gas and particles have been linked a variety of impact including the uh, forest decline acceleration of leaching of metal from rock and soil the decay of limestone marble and other building material and also will damage to the human respiratory system acid rain caused by the nitri nitrites from the vehicle exhaust and also sulfate from the coal burning so this uh, both gas will dissolve in water causing the pH of rain will become lower so when the pH become lower Acid, acid so the effect will damage the plant leaf and also will dissolve the important mineral in the soil and also will lower the pH of water below the limit of tolerance so this uh, phenomena will cause the cell become abnormal the rate of growth will reduce the root system will damage and also early leaf and needle loss regeneration will reduce and also crown die back and also necrosis of leaf tissue and also many more are the cause of biomass soil vitality reduced and also the nutrient leach and also bacterial activity and metabolism. So thank you very much for your time and I will see you again in our next class and don't forget to answer the question and we will see you again in our next class thank you very much and bye bye